What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dad X5 Gaming. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another X5 mod review. And today we're talking about Rockstar's color configurator that was just released on the Mod Hub. Before we jump into the review here though, let me start by saying thank you guys for everyone that's come by the channel that has liked my videos, commented, shared, subscribed, whatever you guys have done. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. It is, it is very much appreciated from the bottom of my heart. We are so close to that first goal I've got here of 100 subscribers. So if you're new here and you really enjoy the content, it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit that subscribe button and help me get to that 100. So without further ado, let's jump into the mod review. Again, the name of this mod is Color Configurator. It is available on the Mod Hub. It is a PC only mod. So console players, I apologize. This is not available for you. We'll link it down below though. Um, it is a um, release from Rockstar. Now, you may use other mods from Rockstar and not even know it. This is his fourth release. His other releases include the additional game settings mod, additional currency, and mobile workshop. Um, the mod we're using today to test this on will be the 2020 Ford Super Duty Limited by JJ. Also only available on PC. I'll link it down below as well. Or excuse me, I'll link the Facebook group that he's a part of down below so that you can obtain this mod for yourself if you'd like to check it out. But uh, we'll show you how easy it is to use the interface. It's really simple to use so that you can personalize the color of any machine, not just a truck, maybe a tractor or an implement or anything in the game that you can change the color on. This configurator will allow you to change it to whatever color your heart desires. So let me show you how easy it is to use this uh, color configurator. It's super easy to make colors and to customize the equipment to your 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 liking with your color. Um, if you guys have used this mod before, you know there's only like six colors available. White, silver, gray, black, blue, and red. So I am a John Deere fan. You guys know I love John Deere green. So I would love to have this truck in John Deere green. Before this mod, that was not a possibility, but because of this mod, I can create a color similar to that and be able to apply it to you. Let me show you how easy it is. So all you have to do is come over here to the main color section. And as you can see, I've already got a couple of um, colors saved. So here's my John Deere green that I created. So as you can see, I did a pretty good job of getting it um, where it needs to be. That's pretty close, I would say. So if I was happy with that, um, I could just purchase my truck and be on my way. But let me show you guys how easy it is to make your own color. Now we're just gonna do a random color here. So all you need to do is click customize and this is gonna show you the last color you did. Now this is the one thing about this mod that I wish they was different is, is that once you save a color, you cannot make any changes to it. So, and it also doesn't appear anywhere else that I've seen so far. Now. As we play a little more with this mod, that may change. If so, I will update this video, but make sure that if you get a color and you really like it, before you save it, write down the RGB numbers so that way you can save it and use it for other vehicles. You can use it for other parts of the, um, the vehicle, such as the interior at a later time or the bumper or the toolbox, whatever. Just make sure you guys save those numbers somewhere so that you can um, use it again. Now, maybe down the road, there'll be an update that will allow you to pull the information after the fact. And, and there may be a way to do that in the back end of the system, but we're just going to keep it simple. And then, and for now you just write those numbers down. That's, that's really the only one flaw with this that I have been able to find. So this is the simple to use as user interface. You can do it a couple of ways to change the color. You can use the sliders left and right. So we'll kind of try to make this a, uh, uh, let's see what kind of weird funky color we can go. Ooh, look at that. Some kind of a weird yellow. Um, let's see. Can we get it? Uh, what we got going on here? Uh, it's not really that beautiful. I was kind of trying to get some kind of... Oh, there we go. Let's kind of go with like... There we go. That's kind of a fuchsia. Fuchsia color. We'll go with that. So, again, write down those numbers if you wanted to use them. And it's easy to put the numbers in. All you have to do is come in here erase what's in here and type in what you have and it'll automatically uh, do that. You can use the sliders or use the numbers. Now, uh, this section here will allow you to uh, zoom in and out with your mouse wheel so you can get a better look at the sections to see what the paint would look like on corners and different things like that. 
And then you can also use your mouse wheel to zoom in, obviously, to get a better look. Now, Rockstar has also given us several different material types. This is fabric here, as it says up here. You just uh, click left and click right, and it'll give you different options. There's a shiny car paint, fabric, there's wood, there's rubber, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but download the mod and check it out yourself. But in this case, for our car, we're going to go ahead and go with shiny car paint. Just going to hit apply here. It's going to give us an idea of what it looks like. And there you have it. That is exactly what it's going to look like. So if we're content with that, all we would need to do is go back into here, hit customize again, and hit save. And we're going to give it a name. We'll call this um, X5 sort of pink question mark. And we'll hit the save key and it's going to save it for us. And then uh, because we this is the last color we used, if I wanted matching seats, so we'll go interior. I'll hit customize and there it is. It's already in there. But we'll go over here to the fabric section and I'll tell you what, we're going to write these numbers down just so that I can try to do this on a different vehicle and see what it looks like. So we're going to do this for the seats, for the fabric. We're going to hit apply, and bam, look at that. We've got matching seats to our matching paint. We'll go ahead and lease this vehicle so we don't run out of money here on our test farm. And just for grins, to show you how it works on another vehicle, one of our modded tractors, uh, the good old JCB tractors, you guys know you can customize those colors on there already to your heart. So, oh, I think I may have gone by it. There it is. I was talking. wasn't paying attention. Uh, we'll come down here, change that body, and we will customize. And there's the last color. And you know what? Let's just pick, um, let's do the circular brushed metal and see what that looks like. Oh, that doesn't look, uh, that doesn't look too terrible at all. We'll apply that to the, uh, to those. And you know what? Just for grins, let's put it on the, um, let's put it on the rims. But let's, um, let's go with some less shiny chrome. There we go. Oh, it's like a purple monster, lavender monster, I guess, coming down there. We'll lease this and we'll go outside and take a look at it. But um, but there you go. It's super easy to use. Anybody can do that. Like I said, the only thing I wish you could change, or the one thing I could change on this is that when you save the colors, they would be in the different parts. Because as you can see, if I come in here, my John Deere green isn't saved in here. Neither is my mint or that baby blue or any of those colors I made, it, that would be really nice to be able to pull them up. Um, now, if I go back to the, 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 the Super Duty, anything I've saved in there, I can access, but I can't access it across any of the other ones. So, again, make sure you save those numbers if you want to use those on other vehicles. So, we'll go out of the, go out of the here, back to the shop, and as you can see, there's our lavender, purple, pink, whatever you want to call it. JCB tractor and there's our Ford truck with the matching fabric. Let's get inside here and take a look at just how nice this looks. Look at that. The steering wheel matches, the seats match, the door panels, the dash. It's all lavender colored. It looks really nice and again super easy to use and I recommend that you at least give it a try. Download it, play with it a little bit, see what kind of cool colors you can come up with yourself. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Color Configurator from Rockstar. Super easy to use. So guys, I recommend that you download it and try it. If you enjoy that mod, make sure you leave a uh, rating on the Mod Hub in-game so that other uh, farm sim users will know your thoughts on the on the, uh, the mod. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below or even your thoughts on this mod or if there's another mod out there that you'd like for me to review. Let me know about it down in the comment section below and we may use it for future content on the channel or if you're a my creator yourself and you would like to help a small creator grow, hit me up in the comments let me know. I'd love to work with you on something you have coming out in the future or something that you already have that you'd love to see me promote here on my channel. Guys, don't forget I'm also streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 5 gaming We're streaming farming sim content over there so make sure you guys go over and give me a, a follow over there and a look. And I'm also trying to get a thousand subscribers on TikTok. So guys, head over there as well. TikTok. Whoa, shoot. Watch out there. TikTok.com forward slash add dead X5 gaming. All the links are listed below. But for me, that's it for now. So thank you guys once again for stopping by. This is dead X5 gaming signing out. And we'll see you guys on the next one.